welcome back today's lecture in the dictionary class is around you know learning try get value and remove method and the learning outcome for today is to learn the usage of the try get mail value and the remove methods and the lesson plan being very similar to what we have seen in the past few lectures so we'll get head straight back to visual studio okay so here is your visual studio project that you have started last time with the add uh, method and the count property now in this lecture too i have written it down as a comment try get value and remove methods are the two methods that we learn today now what is a try get value method this try get value so we'll see in a minute now this try get value we use this method when we are not sure whether a dictionary has a specific key making sure we don't get an exception and we will get the value if the key exists in the out parameter so i'll everything will be clear in a sec so i will create an instance of the em class employee class say em and um, and if so yesterday i have created the dictionary dict employees collection so i'll use that so you could choose to use one of these em employee instances em1 to em4 the choice is yours okay if you wish i could just um, get by with using the existing employee instances so let's say m1 so if now working with the dict employees collection dict employees dot now today's focus is around try get value so what this try get value does it gets the value associated with the specific key okay so it has got an overload int key and out employee value okay so if the key is there it will give a output parameter which will be stored in an employee object so let's try this id 2002 and out will be in one of the employees say um m3 okay and then pair of curly braces and then a console dot right line statement and then our now familiar string interpolation dollar sign dollar id equals now because we are working on this m3 object so we'll go for m3 dot id and then name equals again m3 dot name and department equals curly brace m3 dot department and then a comma over here you don't need comma so because this line is still continuing so if you want it to be broken to the next line then you could put a comma and terminate the you know quotes over here and then put a string concatenation plus operator but you know i can write the salary basically here itself uh, 
still put the comma salary equals in three dot salary okay and then the semicolon so if I wish to put it to the next line I can click and enter and it will automatically include the concatenation plus okay so that's magic so it will automatically put this concatenation operator else if the try get value dict employee dot try get value which returns a boolean true or false if it returns false then in the else branch what will you do console dot right link employee not found as simple as that So why this one is showing? Uh, sorry, it will no semicolon there. All right, so let's see what it fetches out. Okay, control F five. So the employee it is there you know ID 2002 name Michelle department IT salary is 6000 superb now what I have done is that instead of the outputting it into the m3 variable earlier it will be outputting it to m4 now m4 was originally initialized with this ID 2003 name Julie department operations and salary 8000 but once this application is run it will be reassigned with the new values you know corresponding to this key so in a second i will prove what i am saying right you can see that it still has the id 2002 name michelle department it and salary 6000 so basically if it confuses you to put the output you know corresponding to output of value corresponding to this key in one of these initialized um, employee instances then you can make it just emp you declare it as you know emp a new object of type employee employee emp and then start using emp but I think it is fairly easy to understand that you know every time um, this key is found the value corresponding to this key 2002 will be outputted to the employee object whatever it is so if it was initialized with a original with a initial value it will be reinitialized so this is as simple as that so if you make it emp it will still be the same so emp dot id only things will be you know because now we are operating on the emp variable so emp dot department emp dot salary so if you run this application see again it is the same value right so long as that key is found now comes the remove method so very cleverly what we can do is we can use the remove method here to remove this employee dict employee dot remove method and how it operates you know remove int key so i will just remove this element with the key 2002 and then let me copy and paste this code again to see what happens now what is the output on the console so what do you expect do you expect it to come to this block employee not found because now I have removed this so let's see let's prove that that is the case control f5 again to run the app and employee not found 
that's what you have correctly guessed so that's the end of this tutorial and before we move on to the next part for a quick recap from the lecture we observed that we have learned how to use the try git value and remove methods of the dictionary tkt value